I am that I am, Adamus of Sovereign Domain, Adamus, a master among masters. Ah, I've been waiting a long time to say that. <laughs> no longer the teacher, guide at times, a mirror at times, but no longer the teacher, just a master among masters. Let's take a good deep breath. What an amazing, amazing time. Oh, Calder is telling me not to say amazing anymore, but there is no better word at this moment. So it begs the question, what is a master? What is a master? You've had a lot of notions and concepts and beliefs. You've looked at others as they might be masters. You've had examples in the past, hundreds, thousands of years ago, of supposed masters. But what is a master? Master is one who is conscious of their consciousness. They are aware. That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. They are aware. We could throw in a lot of other words, enlightened and everything else, but it's really the awareness. Most humans, they know that they are living, even though they're desperately trying to have feeling in their life, life in their life. They know they are living through their suffering, through their lack, through the things they don't have. Oh yes, at times through uh, romance and love and accomplishment, but mostly, mostly they are not aware of themselves. They are not conscious of their consciousness. Indeed, they get up in the morning and go about their Routines, routines that have been very deeply programmed in, but never, if very seldom, do they stop and say, Ah, I exist. I am. I am. The Master. The Master knows they are conscious, conscious of their consciousness. That simple. A simple, simple awareness. I am. I exist. Here I am. Nothing else matters. Not what came before me. Not what happened in another lifetime. Not what happened yesterday. doesn't matter. I am in this moment. That's a Master. And how good it is to address you as Masters. And the first thing I would like to do in our new journey going forward is Absolutely release any concept, notion, thought, belief that you had about what a master was, because it came from the old mind, it came from old uh, archetypical energies, old examples, mentors. That's not what you're going to be. You're not going to be like Yeshua. You're not going to be like any of the other masters. You are the new energy masters. And even if you don't feel that way, right now, even if you have doubts and are questioning it, even if you're thinking, well, maybe I'll get there. Maybe I have a little bit of Master. Maybe I'm 42 percent Master right now. Fake it, like I said. Just act it, because there is, a, there is an energy dynamic associated with consciousness that moves the energies, aligns it towards you. You just start acting like a Master. You start acting in consciousness, and then it's there. First thing I would like to do is let's release any previous concept about what you thought a Master was, because it's not going to be that way. It's going to be very, very different for all of you. Your concepts of a Master came from uh, an older place, came from a mental place, and came from a place of power, all of which we're going to leave behind. So please do take a deep breath as we go into the release of mastery. Everything that you thought a master was, let's leave it behind. Every imagination and dream you've had about what mastery was, 
every concept, every thought about masters. Let's wipe the slate clean, absolutely clean, right now, and not try to fill it with anything other than what comes naturally. Take a good deep breath and feel into that. How do you release that which you thought was a master? Well, you just do. I call it just going to that next point. Yo soy al punto. I am the point. The minute you choose it, you become it. Yo soy al punto. I am this now. You don't think about how you're going to get there. You don't wonder if you got there. You don't question if it's of value getting there. You don't wonder if you have the capability or the talent. You are soy al punto. I am that point. I become it. So we just become the release.